For this circuit, we want to find the Thevenin equivalent of the port PQ using the 1 to amps method to apply the current source 1 amp at this port. The direction of that source and the polarity of the voltage V1A we want to compute is an expectation of the polarity of the voltage of the Thevenin source. To solve this circuit, we're going to be using MNA, of course. We choose this as a reference node down here and take advantage of this uh, AV source to say that the voltage at this node up here is already known. It is 2 volts, of course. It's not an unknown anymore. It's 2 volts. The nodes remaining are nodes 1 and node 2. Choose the branch current. This one is given by this polarity like so. This one's given by the current source, by the current source, and these ones we can assign any direction we want to. Controlling equation only one, Vx for this variable. Vx is a much higher the node on the left is than the node on the high, and that is 2 volts minus V1. Vx is 2 minus V1, and that is our first MNA equation. Any evil branch? Sure, there is one, this one, but we've taken advantage of that already to establish the voltage of this node up here, so that means that we do not need the evil branch current, and we will not have to write the evil branch equation. We go straight for the KCL equation 1 for this node. It will have one, two, three terms, two currents arriving on the left and one current leaving on the right. Currents arriving. If this one is an R branch current, voltage of the origin to minus voltage of the destination of the current V1 divided by R. But that voltage is also Vx. I'm going to write Vx divided by R as that voltage is the same, right? 2 minus V1. Plus the current arriving from this current source, which is 2Vx. And those are the currents arriving in the node. They are in the left-hand side of the equation. And that is equal to currents leaving the node, only one of them, through this R branch. Currents in an R branch, voltage of the origin of the current V1 minus voltage of the destination of the current V2 divided by R. V1 minus V2 divided by R. Now, KCL equation for node number 2. 1, 2, 3, and 4. It will have four terms. Two currents arriving, the one from the left, the one from the right. Those will go on the left-hand side of the equation, and two currents leaving. This one and that one. Two on the left and two on the right. This one, V1 minus V2 over R. It's an R branch, after all. The same current that we wrote before. Plus a 1 amp current. And that is equal to the currents leaving, that is, V2 over R, V2 minus 0 over R. Voltage origin minus voltage of the destination over R. And this is 1 amp, the top current source. We are ready. We have three unknown, which are V1, V2, and Vx, and we have three equations. Let's solve them. I have written in the equations in the calculator already, and now we group them into an array, like that. That is a system of equations. We specify the anodes. They will be V1, space, V2, space, and V lowercase x. We want to make an array with those two to specify those are the unknowns and we're ready to ask the calculator for the symbolic solver, linear solver. Those are the voltages of all of those. We care only for V2 because V2 is going to be V1A. R plus one half divided by R plus three quarters. Now we go for the two amps test. This will be a 2 amps current source, and the voltage will be labeled V2A. Now, 
the equations remain pretty much the same with the sole change that this one amp source is going to be a 2. We go to the calculator, change that 1 into 2 and solve again. Swap the equations, down arrow, with the right arrow find the equation you want to edit, A to edit it, and then left arrow to replace the 1 by a 2. That back, 1, 2, there. Now we have a 2 amps there. Swap and linear solver and that is V2 that is no other than V2A. Let's make a pause and write that down. Now that we have V1A and V2A we can solve this system of equations represented by the 112 matrix equation and find V7 and R7. V7 is 2 times V1A minus V2A. And R7 is um, V2A minus V1A. Now, in the different four types of exams, R was 2, 3, 5, or 7 ohms. Do the substitution and find the right values for your type of exam. Let's go for the second part of this question. Once we have the circuit represented by 7 and at that port, like so, V7 and an R7, at that port, we connect, following the instructions of the exercise, a capacitor, a huge, unrealistic, 2 finance capacitor at t equals 0. We do that connection. The question was, well, the initial voltage of that capacitor is given as 0 volts. The capacitor was discharged. Uh, what is the final voltage in the capacitor? And we show in class that it is just V7. So, the final voltage in the capacitor is just V7 and whatever V7 and you found up here. And the time constant is just the product of R7 and, and 2 farads. And those are the answers for this question. Thank you very much.